Greetings from Hampton Beach, and I look to my right, I look to my left, I see no one. I think I am the only person here out on Hampton Beach tonight. And I came prepared. I brought my Patriots beach towel with me. I don't know, just in case. Uh, let's see if the wind cooperates here to show us how the winds are. Eh, it's not going very good. About as impressive as the Patriots' performance last night in Houston. But what has been impressive here, right along the beach, you can see the snow drifting. I think you might be able to see it from the shot there. It's pretty cool to see, but uh, that's actually one of the things that uh, safety officials here in town are concerned about. So I want to show you some video. It's hard to see right now at this hour, but about an hour before you can see the waves here at Hampton Beach. Very impressive, strong winds uh, all afternoon here on the seacoast. It has been a ghost town tonight on Ocean Boulevard and for good reason. It's snowing and windy and it'll pick up in intensity as it has been over the last hour or two or so. At times, the gust could be more than 30 miles per hour, and those strong winds will mean snow drifting. Drifting snow can blow over direct vent appliances where their exhaust is, the little chimneys. So we're asking everybody to make sure that their direct vent appliances, any type of gas log fireplace or heaters, um, have been shoveled out so that you don't have a carbon monoxide buildup in the hole. Yeah, especially with the second round of snow that we're getting tonight, it'll be important to keep up with clearing the snow uh, come tomorrow morning. Okay, let's check in with my colleague Suzanne Rontree, who is live in Peterborough tonight, where Suzanne, I understand a lot of people have been having fun out there today. Yeah, actually, we found a lot of people having fun. As you can see, it's snowing again here in Peterborough, and for the most part, everyone that we talk to say that's okay with them. Just days after Thanksgiving, this late fall storm has turned the Monadnock region into a picturesque winter wonderland. And folks in Peterborough say they're ready for storm number two that's dumping more snow overnight. Bring it on, bring it on, I'm ready. <laughs> Four-year-old Averly Morris says he's looking forward to more snow because he loves to shovel it. Because we can clear it out. Jim Newcomb was just one of many out plowing today. He says tomorrow will likely be a repeat. Well, I'm going to be doing plowing, a lot more plowing <laughs> and snow blowing. Kelly DeLoretto and her husband both got to work from home today and hope to dig out by tomorrow so they can go to their jobs. I mean, it's a lot of snow, but we're used to it. You know, it's New England, it's New Hampshire. <laughs> it's just snow. Brandon Jackson was snow blowing his driveway in anticipation of what's in store. Are you looking forward to more snow? Uh, yeah, we just moved from Oregon, so uh, this is the first time we've really experienced snow, and it's still fun for us now. While most are taking all this snow in stride, Richard Bird says it's not for him. Four days ago, I was in Florida. I just drove back. Now I think I'm digging out to drive back down to Florida. Now, as you can see, the snow is conti continuing. Uh, the proof will be in the pudding, though. We'll find out tomorrow morning just how much snow this region was hit with. Now, it forecasted for 6 to 12 inches. Tim Callery has been spending the day down in Nashua and uh, southern New Hampshire also is an area that's been pretty hard hit with all of the snow. Let's go live there now where he has more on the story. Well, Suzanne, that's right. We kind of got our own winter wonderland here in Nashua with all this snow and we got the ice sculptures actually still up from this past weekend's holiday stroll. Right now, a few flakes are flying, but this is really what people were dealing with here in Nashua all day. This heavy wet snow that's compacted together and it's really making for a very difficult cleanup, which needs to happen tonight before that second round moves in. Coming of snowblowers filling neighborhoods in Nashua, a familiar sound signaling the return of winter. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's that time of season. Tom White powered up his snowblower to clear away what was left behind from last night's storm. It's a little heavy, you know, it's a, uh, and I want to get it before it gets heavier. A smart move considering more snow is on the way. Several inches are expected tonight on top of the already 10 inches that has piled up in the city. I don't need to know that. Difficult news for Scott Palmer, who spent the day digging out under the supervision of his two pups. They used to really have a, a lot of fun in it, but now they just kind of tolerate it, just like me. In nearby Milford, it was a similar scene of people doing what they can to make room for the next round of snow. Three generations of the Spencer family family teaming up to tackle the job. It is heavy. It packs down and it's it's hard to shovel. <laughs> it's wet enough where a snowblower doesn't really want to throw it that good. 
it's hard to shovel. <laughs> so you got to move up to the plow. What's good about it? For these kids, the good thing is a snow day, which makes for a busy day of sledding. It's not that like slippery as so you don't go as fast right now, but it'll probably get better. Many hoping for another day off tomorrow. More time at home, more time in the snow. <clears throat> I think a lot of kids are hoping for an extra uh, extended Thanksgiving vacation. Right now, no word on any school cancellations here in Nashua or Milford, but there is a parking ban. The city asking people to keep the roads clear so the plows can do their jobs. We're live here in Nashua. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.